Welcome to St. Thomas for the season of Advent, one of the main church seasons of the year and the first church season of the year as we mark a new beginning spiritually in the church calendar. Advent comes from a Latin word which means to go before, to come before, to proceed. And we think of figures like John the Baptist during the season of Advent or the angel Gabriel who came to announce the birth of Jesus. It's a season of preparation, watching, waiting in silence for new things to unfold in our world and in our lives. It's a great spiritual season to make a new beginning in your own spiritual journey. During this season, we light the Advent wreath. A candle is lit each Sunday, symbolizing the light of Christ coming into the world. And we wear special colors liturgically during this season. It used to be that we wore purple to mark a season of penitence. But today we've switched to serum blue to mark a season of expectation, watching, waiting for the Lord to arrive in a more full way in our life. During this season, I invite you to take on some kind of spiritual practice that will help you draw closer to Christ. You might dedicate some time every day to reading scripture or spend 15 or 20 minutes in prayer each day during this season. If you work in the city, you might get 10 $1 bills each day and pass them out to those who you see on the streets who are in need, who are asking for assistance. Taking on a spiritual practice or taking on a form of service to others is a great thing to do during this season. If you're struggling to overcome something in your life, if you're dealing with an addiction or if you're looking to develop a new quality in your life of greater patience, more kindness, a gentler spirit, you might literally put by your bedside an index card and make a mark each day that you have carried that out, that you begin that new spiritual practice in your life. You'll find it very rewarding. All research shows us that if we commit to a practice over 21 days, it's very likely that we can commit to that for the rest of our lives. So let this Advent be a season for a new beginning in your life spiritually, so that when we celebrate Christmas together, you will feel alive more spiritually than you have in a great amount of time. The beginning of Advent marks the beginning of a new church year. As we change our lectionary and our readings, we leave our journey with Luke and enter into a journey with Matthew. The readings in Advent also help us to prepare not just for the birth of Christ, but for the coming kingdom of God, so that during this season of busyness and freneticism as we prepare our homes for the anniversary of Christ's birth, we can also sit and look for God breaking back into the world yet again. One of the ways that we mark Advent as a season of our church year is by choosing music and hymns that are especially appropriate. Hymns such as O Come, O Come, Emmanuel are Latin hymns all the way from the 9th century that have been used continuously to mark the prayers for our coming Lord. We also sing hymns like Lo, He Comes with Clouds Descending, which has very interesting poetry that also relates to the second coming, because in Advent, we not only want to mark the first coming of Christ as a baby, but also his eventual second coming on earth. 